This is another SprueCam tutorial brought to you by SprueCam America. In this tutorial video, we will be going over the new 2.5D contouring operation. This operation is fantastic. Uh, in the past, if you wanted to, let's say, finish this face right here, finish this face right here, this face, and let's say even this one down here, you would have to create a separate 2D contouring for each. Uh, because 2D contouring would only work with one Z level. Well, the 2.5D contouring will work with multiple Z levels. So what I've done is I've created a roughing waterline operation to just clear out the extra material while leaving 10 thou of material on these walls. So let's create the new 2.5D contouring operation. We'll hit the drop down and go to 2.5D and contouring. Now for this, we need to choose the, the faces. So we'll choose these two faces here. Now you can either hold shift and click both faces and hit curve, or you can double click and then hit curve. The important part is making sure that you select both faces. If you do not select both faces, what'll happen is you'll click curve and you'll click curve and you'll see that you get a start point here that ends here and then a start point here that ends here. What that's going to do is approach, cut around, retract, come back down, cut around. We don't want that. So I'm going to delete those two out and double click and hit curve. And now you have one nice continuous path. And then lastly, we need to do the same thing for this down here, hold shift and click here. Now let's say if you accidentally clicked an edge extra in there, you can simply hold control and click it and that will deselect it. Once you have all of them selected, you can select curve over here and we will have four options listed. What's nice about this is we do not need to set the top level or bottom level because it's going off of the face. So it automatically detects the start and stop point in Z. Let's double click 2.5D contouring to choose the tool, uh, feeds and speeds and any other settings that we want. Go to tool. Now I'm going to use the same tool that I have created here. Okay. And this is just a standard uh, half inch end mill. Feeds and speeds. You'd set your, your feed rate. Let's say this is aluminum. We'll do 5,000 and 30 inches a minute. Just shooting from the hip there. Uh, parameters. For a depth of cut, I'm just going to select two and go to strategy. And we want to do a helical machining. Uh, helical machining will leave a better finish. Uh, if you can't do it in one pass, typically helical is the way to go because it's an uninterrupted cut. I'm going to hit OK. Last, I'm going to give it a lead in, lead out. To do that, you hover over the diamond and you simply drag it. Now you can go one way and it puts a full circle. We're going to go the other way. So it does the half circle. And somewhere around 0.15 works for me. And it does it for all of them. What this means is that it's going to start here, work its way into the cut, and then when it's done, it'll retract its way out. And then when it goes back up, you're not rubbing against the face of the surface. We can then hit reset and run. Simulation. I'm going to reset the simulation here. Here's the roughing water line. I'm going to stop it and just fast forward through that one so we don't have to watch it. And then I'll hit play on this. All right. And there you go. This has been another SprueCam tutorial brought to you by SprueCam America. Have a wonderful day.